Hey guys, Prodesign HD here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make text slash objects fly in. So here's an example that's on my YouTube. Go check this out. As you can see, the wolf um, head and the text like fly in, spin and stuff. I'm going to show you how to do that today. So first of all, create a text or just um, an object, anything really. Just name it something and then I'm just going to change the depth to about 50. And I'm going to change the font to this weird one that I installed. But it looks decent-ish, I suppose. And that's the depth of it, which looks actually looks pretty decent. So once you've got your text, I'm just going to control C, control V, and uh, create another one behind it. And I'm just going to create two colors here. Um, click on the right, click on color. And then first of all, just create whatever you want for the um, first, the front color, the front of it. I'm just going to have it as about a greeny color. I don't really use green very often, so I'm going to use that. Um, tick the, the reflection box and put the reflection to about 20, 15 to 20. And then where it says texture, it's a little arrow button. Click the arrow button and go to the... It's below color, it's like Fresnel, something like that. So just click that and it makes the reflection more realistic. And um, Just drag it on to the front text which is that one and on the back text let me just drag it behind a bit so you can, there you go and then go on caps um, change the start to fill it cap and the end to fill it cap uh, drag it back a bit so you can see the front text and get colour and you want to change this colour to black uh, flexion 20 doesn't really matter actually well, it doesn't really matter that much on the back it just makes them all better and if I add a sky in and this text will look pretty decent really there you go that's the well actually this tutorial is like two tutorials how to make a good text really and how to um well this is the next bit how to make things fly in so change at the bottom it's just like the frames change that to about 200 and drags here um oh I forgot another bit um on this little green square, click on that and go extrude nerves. You can select both of the um, text that you're done and drag that into extrude nerves. Don't don't drag the extrude nerves into the text. You have to drag the text into extrude nerves so it works properly. And then, as you can see, this makes them both together. So when you move it, they just stick together. So that's I have to do that. So this this will make it fly better. So once you've done that that's little green bit where the frames are put it to 90 they want to rec start recording it and just get the camera angle a bit better and you want to add a keyframe there and then you want to drag it back to zero and then I click the little button here to show all angles so it's, you can just drag it really easily and just drag it forward somewhere and then click the rotation and on this one just rotate it around or if you want really and then go back onto this the main one that you use and just play it through and we're just spinning like that so and if you just render the it will look pretty decent really see it's not too bad of a colour I know it probably looks a bit dull but it's okay just change it a bit but yeah that's really how to make text fly in it's very easy to do uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks.